Okay, we are here at South Beach. This is the drop-off point at the tram station, Coco K. The snack shack has just opened. So I'm gonna give you a little tour of what they have here. First at the snack shack, since we're here. There's tables, umbrellas. There's tables and umbrellas over there. This is the beverage station. And these are the cocoa cookies. They're really, really good. They got lots of good fruit. Got your hamburger toppings over there. They got all of your condiments here. Ketchup, mayo, mustard, barbecue sauce, sweet relish, and ranch dressing. Ranch dressing, interesting. They got your flavored waters, all three types. I'm gonna fix my phone here. Okay, so here is places to eat. So another beverage station over there, the same thing. And one of the best things to get here is the secret sandwich. It's like a chicken parmesan sandwich, crispy chicken sandwich with two or three mozzarella sticks with marinara sauce. You can also get the funnel cake. It's a big funnel cake with powdered sugar on it. Only at the snack shacks. So some people had asked about these beach beds. So let's go take a look over here at the, actually these are the cabanas, South Beach cabanas. So these are South Beach cabanas, as you can see. And they added some palapas here in the water, right there by the floating bar. Let's go take a quick look at that. And those are all complimentary loungers and umbrellas. These are the beach cabanas. And these are complimentary here. Looks like they have some bean bags. But here is South Beach area number one. And they added these palapas, which is kind of cool. You can just, you know, have your drinks and stand around in the water. There's the floating bar, and there's the over-the-water cabanas. There's two sets, and they also added these floating mats, as you can see here. There's a lot of people in the water. So these are the South Beach cabanas, and there's one row of them. Looks to be. Six, seven, eight, nine, maybe nine or ten of them. And looks like it's fairly high tide right now. Usually you can see that sandbar out there. Well, it looks like they got a lifeguard station down there and they added some rocks in the water that I have not seen before. So that's interesting and they got a couple of buoys out there so probably keeping people away from back there so these are the south beach cabanas here's one that people are away right now but just to get a look at it it's like it's got a cooler with water this is good for families The drink package is included if you have the drink package out here. Looks like these two are vacant. So that's a good look at what they what they look like. And those are the South Beach cabanas. Now you come back here, there's more restrooms over here. A hand wash station. And these are some sets of loungers and umbrellas complimentary then you come down to the beach beds so this is the farthest south or not the farthest south farthest west on south beach so it could be potentially more quiet out here 
unless you got a screaming kid. But this is away from the beach bar, the floating bar. They do have waiters that come here. There's the concierge for the beach beds. So the beach beds look like they have coolers. They do have curtains that you can close on the sides to block the sun, as you can see here. So this is what they look like. But again, there's loungers down here. If you want to get away from all that crowd, you come down here. Ah, there's Great Harbor Key off in the distance. Rain shower occurring. You can get floating beach mats. You can tell it's a lot more quiet out here. So they have these rocks out here by this lifeguard station. And let's go down here and see what this is. It's been a while since I've been down this far. So let's see. There's a, a few empty beach beds. With all these two ships in port and probably 6,000 or so people, they still have some that are vacant. <coughs> all right, so let's go down here. There's another little place here called The Cove. This is interesting. So they put these rocks here just to keep this lifeguard stand protected from waves. But look further down the beach. I see one of the old tender boats. It could be used for shuttling supplies for construction. Now this is an area called the Cove. And it looks to be complimentary. And they still have some sort of a nature trail, I guess. There's a sign over here. So there's some hammocks. And look at this, the cove. Interesting. So if you want to take the time to walk all the way out here, you can go to the cove. And it appears to be complimentary, and there ain't much out here. It looks like you cannot go past that area right there. That area is under development. Looks like a little nature trail still here. That's interesting. This is even more quiet, but you're further away from restrooms. So there you have it. South Beach explained. And there's that old, one of the old tender boats. Now there's some construction activity, luckily they're mining the area for sand. The South Beach, uh, Hideaway Beach adult area is not very active. I haven't seen it being worked in quite a while. Hasn't really changed. They're probably still designing it. They can't do construction unless they've got the final design. And then they have a timetable. So it may be not a big priority. I don't know. But look at that rain shower off in the distance. They move fast here. It's probably moving left to right on your screen. We may or may not get a drizzle. But here is the cove. That's interesting. Very interesting. There's the beach beds. Let's listen to the relaxing sounds. And this is the bird's eye view from it. This is the beach beds. Ooh, they're comfortable. They're nice and soft. So, there is South Beach. And 
Thanks for watching.